Now let's go ahead and launch the Vault Administrator and let's also verify that our Vault is indeed up and running. So if, first of all, a couple of things to make note of. If I explore my computer and take a look at my C drive, you'll see that we now have a directory C colon Vault data. That is the PDM Works Workgroup file Vault. When you go to, to back up the Vault, it's simply this directory that needs to be backed up. Uh, the administrator should have access to this directory, but no other users should ever have any reason to go in this directory. The second thing you may want to verify through the Windows control panel is that the Vault service itself is actually running. Normally it starts up on its own following a successful installation. But to find out if the service is running, we'll choose Control Panel, Administrative Tools, and Services you will need to have administrative privileges to, to uh, perform this action. If we look through the list of services, we'll scroll down until we find the SolidWorks Workgroup PDM server. And indeed we see that that is an automatic process and it is started. So based on that, we can have confidence that our vault is up and running. The next thing we may want to do is take a look at the Vault Administrator Utility, and this is found in the Start menu, All Programs. You'll notice that we have a SolidWorks 2010 program group that has been added, and here's a shortcut to our Workgroup PDM Vault Admin. This is an application that, as an administrator, you'll probably be running quite a bit, so you might want to copy a shortcut to the desktop. Let's launch the Workgroup Vault Admin. Now, if you're upgrading from a previous vault, all of your usernames, all of your passwords, all of the settings uh, and projects from, a, from the previous version will be remembered. If this is a brand new fresh installation, you don't have any projects and you don't have any users defined except for the default Vault Administrator. The default Administrator login is PDMW Admin for both the name and the password. For the Vault computer, this is the name of the server or if you're actually physically logged into the server itself, you can just type localhost here. You can use either the computer's name, the IP address, or if you're local to that machine, you can type localhost. And we choose login. And this brings up the Vault Admin Utility. The Vault Admin Utility, again, is where we can specify all of the global settings, define our users and groups, search criteria, revision schemes, projects, lifecycle, handling of standard libraries, custom properties, etc. A, a complete discussion of the Vault Admin utility is really beyond the scope of this demonstration. However, you can find information on the Vault Admin in the online help and in the SolidWorks tutorials. So once we've verified that the Vault is up and running, we can now go ahead and upgrade all of our clients. For your SolidWorks clients, once you install SolidWorks 2010, the Vault admin or the uh, the the PDM add-in should be installed by default, and you don't even have to do anything special to make sure that 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 component gets loaded. As soon as they try to log into the new Vault, if they aren't upgraded to the newest version of the client software, once they touch the new Vault, the Vault will actually send them the upgrade. So, from an administration standpoint, upgrading the clients is is uh, is really fairly transparent. That concludes this portion of the demonstration on setting up or upgrading a 2010 Workgroup PDM Vault.